Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, Throne and Liberty News. Let's check what is happening on servers in Korea and regarding global release of Throne and Liberty. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of Throne and Liberty videos in the future. As you can see, I'm already here on official website of Throne and Liberty in Korea. So let's start with the news from Korea. In front of you, you can see brand new updates for May 2nd and actually, I was waiting for this for the last two days because May 1st is a holiday. We were waiting for these updates a little bit longer than normally. However, we have finally get it. So let's check it out. First, what do we have here? Uh, fixes already with fixes. So yeah, regarding new dungeons, guys, uh, we have get already five out of five. Five new PvE dungeons, two star dungeons, hard dungeons of Throne and Liberty in the previous weeks. So nothing regarding new dungeon, uh, some UI has been improved to enhance convenience, notification icon highlighting and remaining time have been changed to be more optimized for play. The display of information on the map, minimap has been improved. Changes uh, to guild conquest battle, uh, some additional changes to map, fixes to content uh, modification, system modification and basically that is it wait a second no way there yes these are really small patch notes actually you know what this is not that bad so uh, we have get this this is important you know that in the previous patch notes we have get special a CC remove potion, special elixir. I'm preparing special video on my YouTube channel when you will see how to craft that special potion. That is very important because with that potion, you can remove different kind of CC, like stun, bind, you can remove with that special elixir, special potion. You can actually craft that potion and how you will see in my videos in the next week. You will see in one dedicated video. For this evening, uh, basically, the biggest new thing in this update is now we are getting a rare attack flask. Damage dealt plus 20%, cooldown 2 minutes, holding time 24 seconds. It will last for 24 seconds. Uh, price 10,000 Solent, once per day per character. So, they are introducing more potions to the game. And beside that, a little bit of known issues fixing, right? And uh, that's it. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, very short patch note. Actually, since the release of the game over there in Korea, since December 7, 2023, when the game was released in Korea, this is the shortest patch note so far. Why? I hope this is because they are preparing for global release of their own anybody. I hope that is the reason. It could be the reason, but we don't know for sure. I hope the reason for this very short patch note is that they are preparing maybe some kind of patch note, special, translated, and additionally edited for global version of the game. I'm hoping for that. What is interesting over there on servers in Korea, I can show you here, will happen on May 8th. We are finally getting changes to local and regional events. So basically what will happen within, within these regional events, conflicts, uh, it will be faction type kind of event. So there will be PvP within these uh, regional and local events and they will look completely different than they are looking right now. Probably we'll need to kill some kind of mobs, collect some kind of tails, but you can see here, we are getting completely another take, another perspective, and another completely another gameplay of these local and regional events. This will happen on May 8th. Now, regarding global version of the game, nothing new. Amazon Games is silent. I'm following every single day all the official sources information from Amazon Games and NCSoft. From Amazon Games, after that global beta test, closed global beta test, which ended on April 17, no information. You can see here on their official Twitter account, all over their social media, they are completely silent. Is that normal? Well, I think it is normal in one way because we are now about two weeks after that global closed beta test. They're still analyzing data. They're checking feedback from the players. And I think very, very soon we will hear from Amazon Games. From NCSoft also, after that global closed beta test, we didn't see any kind of new information. We have seen this real on official IG account of NCSoft. You can see here a real uh, thanking players to participating in this global closed beta test. And you can see this sentence here. Hope to see you at the official lounge. Amazing, right? 
hope to see you at official lounge. I hope so. So probably no more beta tests, any kind of open betas. We are going directly into official lounge. Probably. Nobody knows for sure. But this sentence here is leading us, is a little hint into that direction. So for now, there is no any kind of new information, anything official, when we'll get a release date. But it's possible that Amazon Games and NCSoft, they are maybe waiting for this. Summer Game Fest 2024. You can see here the date, June 7th. So soon, in about uh, 35 days, we'll have this big gaming event. And Amazon Games loves this show. They always put some kind of trailers in the previous year. Actually, I can show you here if I scroll a little bit down on official Twitter account of Amazon Games, actually Throne and Liberty. Wait, let's go down. Look at this here. In the previous year, during Summer Game Fest, it was on June 9, 2023, we have get announcement trailer for Throne and Liberty. So is it possible that this year Amazon Games will use this show to give us release date? I think yes. I think yes. June 7th. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, mark your calendars. I think that we are getting a release date on June 7th or maybe before that, a little bit before that. But on June 7th, if we don't get a release date, then we are not getting release of the game until end of the year, maybe, maybe even 2025. So stay hyped, stay positive. I think that release date is coming very, very soon, maybe even before June 7th. If not before June 7th, then on June 7th, Summer Game Fest, they need to use this opportunity. Amazon Games needs to give us a release date. So we need to be patient a little bit more. In the meanwhile, while we are waiting for global release of Throne and Liberty, check my YouTube channel. I already have 200 videos, actually more than 200 videos, different kind of guides regarding different kind of in-game systems, guides for new players. And I'm preparing lots of guides for new players before global release. Also, I'm live streaming on Twitch. I'm live streaming every evening about 6 p.m. Central European time. Join me on Twitch if you are interested in Throne and Liberty. If you have any kind of questions regarding the game, I'll be glad to answer. And also to be updated regarding everything what is happening in the world of Throne and Liberty. For this evening, to put it in one sentence regarding what is currently happening with Throne and Liberty, over there on servers in Korea, publisher and developers of this game for Korea, NCSoft, they are still, well, they are still fixing, adjusting the game, polishing the game for global release, introducing new in-game features and improving the game overall. Regarding global version of the game, Amazon Games is still silent, but don't worry, as soon as I see any kind of new information, anything new, official, you'll find out about that instantly here on my YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe. You are now fully updated what is happening in World of Throne and Liberty. Thank you for watching the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitch and see you soon with another Throne and Liberty video.